This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the 14th of June 2021, version 6.8 of the Community C130 Hercules mod has just come out. We will give the download link in the video description. Four main things I want to point out. One, amplitude modulation radio added in the UHF frequency band. It's an ANARC164. We've had added in the main flight computer the ability to add waypoints or modify waypoints manually, which is great. Third, all cockpit lights are now dimmable for MVG users. We'll show you that. And finally, some more work has been done to the EFM, the external flight model. So first, radio from mission editor. I want to show you using the radio properly. So we're going to find someone to talk to. How about Kasab Tower? Click on Kasab there. Here are the frequencies they can use. We've got an FM, we've got a VHF AM, we've got a UHF AM and an old school World War II. So we're going to do the UHF AM, of course, because that's in the band of our radio. 250.000 megahertz is what we've got. OK, now let's click on our aircraft here. We can click in there, bip, and if we go to there, radio presets, we can see here is the ANAIC 164. It has 20 presets, as you can see, and we can change them here in the mission editor if we want. Uh, it just so happens that preset channel 6 is already 250, so that's what we're going to be using to talk to the tower. That's all we're going to show in here. Let's jump in the mission. The button we're going to press to talk to the tower, if you like, is that there communications menu i haven't tuned the radio in yet so i first want to prove that the radio will not work so it's the radio key atc kasab request starter in field one one request starter and you can see that he will not respond just give him a few seconds okay now let's go and set the radio up so we're going to go to the flight computer here com tune there are different ways of doing this the real Hercules has UHF-1, UHF-2, VHF-1, VHF-2. We in the simulator just have UHF-1. But now, it's currently tuned to preset channel 3, which happens to be 256 megahertz, which is of no use to us. So let's change it to 250, and there are two ways of doing this. First, we could change the frequency manually. To do that, we would type in 255. Zero. You don't have to put in the uh, period zero, zero, zero if you don't want. And then click there. You can see that that has set us there to 250, which happens to be channel R6. Let's just put it back to how it was, 256 there. Now let's do it the other way, which is by typing in the preset. It was channel 6, as you remember. So, Romeo 6 there. That set it to preset 6 which is 250. Now let's use the calling method again. So ATC, Kassab, request startup. Watch this. In field 1, one request startup. Ta-da! The radio works fine. So that is the radio. Next, we're going to look at navigation. So we're going to go to nav control. We currently have no waypoint set up at all. We've got a starting position, but no waypoints. We're going to set up waypoint one, shall we? Let's create it, I don't know, on the tip of this uh, island here. So the Herc by default uses three digit decimal minute lat long. So I'm going to press left, alt and Yankee and look at the top. You can see the coordinate system type used. So that's MGRS. That is precise decimal seconds. That is degrees, minutes, seconds. That is game format. And that's our one, three digit decimal minute. So we're gonna write down those numbers now on my knee pad. So what do we want the waypoint number to be? It's already got one, but we could increase or decrease to get to a different number, or we could click uh, two and then click there. Back to one, so I wanna make it one there. What is the syntax name of the waypoint where well, we can type in a name uh ba, 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 ba. how about sc supercap waypoint is that's there bearing distance are read only obviously next we're going to put the latitude in so we're going to type in if i look at my kneeboard two six one seven two three seven in the format of two digit two digit three digit press that that's the Latin. Now the longitude with an extra zero at the beginning because of that's just how it works. So zero five 
six one nine two five five type it in and we've got our waypoint now a distance of 8.7 miles bearing zero three one point five magnetic and let's just double check that is about right I'm about there 8.7 miles 030029 magnetic with two degrees in magnetic variation so that is how to add in waypoints and we can go and um, create waypoint two now if we wanted and that is our complete flight plan that we can add in next we would show the dimmable lights super easy just central panel here ensure the dome lights are on and we can now click nivis mode or normal nivis or normal simple as that and the fourth and final element is that more refinement has been done to the efm the external flight model however i don't have the ability to show off that because i don't know what anubis has changed but we all trust anubis by now that he knows what he's doing that is version 6.8 of herc that's the last one for a while anything you want to add simba nope nothing to add hope you enjoyed that and see you later